Child, mess, mess, and more mess. And y'all already know that's just the way. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Astra Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. Child, so I was on Instagram, of course, minding my business being nosy, and I come across the fact that Hennessy Carolina, you know, Cardi B's sister, was throwing a little bit of shade at Nicki Minaj. Just a little bit, y'all. Child, then the Barb's got involved, then Riley got involved, and then they started going back and forth with each other. And I was just like, child, let me clutch my bang and move it out the way so I can see the situation better and gather myself. So, child, it started with people leaving a lot of negative comments down in Hennessy's comment section. One person says, sis trying to look like Nicki the Ninja. And Hennessy says, I was born with my face. Meanwhile, bees out here with stiff behind facelifts. Then another person says, song went plan to none. Alexa, play good for him by Nicki Minaj. And Hennessy answering someone else says, my sister doesn't get facelifts. Thank you. So child, what she did that for? Y'all already know the boys went crazy. One person says, you and your sister really beefing with a fan base and you want to call Nicki obsessed. Like when does Nicki ever get this obsessed? about cardi or her fans y'all be all under her page too this is why cardi will never be on nikki's level y'all too immature period another person says that's why they dragging your drunk behind now nah, y'all obsessed with the bars you and your ugly sister then another person says girl you talking about nikki got a face lip b where but since you know everything what's the stuff by your sister lip Mm -mm. so then hennessy goes and makes another post and says and the barb's trying too hard with the fake special tape claiming it's me sniffing booger sugar off a guy first off i don't do booger sugar second i'm gay try again next time you're so mad the barb's are the biggest low lowlifes of the century mm -mm, child let me clutch my pearls and gather myself but wait child there's more much more okay so hennessy makes a caption and she says they be taking us all day talking poop y'all can suck my d i'll stop mentioning y'all when you stop mentioning me and mine today i had time then she goes on and makes another post she says don't be coming to my page saying f poop if you're not going to like my response you got my post on notification this just goes to prove my sister's point even more you're really obsessed and upset. It's sickening and ridiculous. Mm-mm, child, it's all a shame and a scandal. A shame and a scandal. But guess what? That ain't all. So y'all know I Tootsie Rolls on down in the comments to see what everybody had to say. And one person says, But y'all always the one bringing Nikki up where she wasn't even mentioned. You seem like the fan here, babes. And Hennessy says, she mentions my sister all the time when she gets on the radio. She likes shady comments about my sister constantly. Her two bimbo friends go on live and talk about my sister all the time on their fake behind podcast with 500 viewers. But I can't say nothing F out of here. That's my family. You can suck my D. So child, what she said that for? Riley comes down in the comments and says, keep playing with me, you dumb bee, and I'm going to rag you like I did your sister. Hello, wait a minute, child, wait a minute. If you have a vast degree in those astrology like I do myself, then you'll know that at this point, Riley is saying that she's the one that gave Cardi B the knot that night at New York Fashion Week, not security. Mm -mm. Girl, so this one has started getting even more juicier. So Hennessy makes another post that says, I'm not scared of none of you water buffalo built behind bees. B, you knew better than to write that poop. That's why you deleted it. Save that bully poop for IG and pop the F out in real life. And y'all excuse me for yelling, but y'all know how I get excited. But anyway, child, Ra Ali comes back and she says, I didn't delete anything. And you know that. It's very much still there unless you deleted it. I don't have to play on this internet with you. You see your big sis when she got home. You know what's up. You next. Cha, 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 cha. Mm, 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 mm. Got told my Ted dog. So Hennessy comes back and says, You did delete your comment. You thought twice. Security did that goofy behind stuff because your friend wouldn't do poop. 
You tried to swing on my sister and patience ran down on your patootie. You ain't rag poop. Rag me in person, B. You beaches. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you bees ain't tough you bees do this poop for entertainment i'm with all the poops right now and child then ra ali comes back and says listen dumbo i know you aren't the sharpest knife in the drawer but the comment is still there the security scenario was cute and we even let y'all rock but what you're not gonna do is be a bully but anyway shorty say less we'll cross paths soon enough Mm-mm, child, let me clutch my edges, my wig, my mama's wig, and gather myself. So, girl, Hennessy comes back and says, if being a bully is defending myself and my sister, I'll be that all day, B. I'm a bully, but you got a whole podcast called On Sight, where all you do is shave my sister and you expect bees not to say poop. I'm a bully, but your fan base is harass me and my sister constantly, and you enjoy that cyber bullying poop. Now you want to play victim? F out of here. B, the last time I seen you in the same spa, and you ain't want no smoke. You bees always want to cross paths. Later, let's cross paths now. Child, now I didn't see no response from Riley on that one. But anyway, Hennessy posted something else. With the caption, she says, you're asking why I'm beefing with a fan base, but you're not asking why someone with so much influence would use their influence to manipulate their fans to spread so much negativity and hate. She leaked my sister's number to her fan pages, the same poop she did to Mariah Lynn. She says, it's easy for y'all to ask me why I'm bothered, why I care so much, but not one of you are waking up to the death threats every day. Made up stories that could affect my real life and my real relationships imagine if this was your infant child imagine if this was your sister or your mother who with a real heart and real effing feelings is going to continue to let a group of people harass them if you wouldn't defend yourself or your family cool but not me not never basically what she's talking about is she posted a couple of videos of a screen record of cardi's phone on the same exact night that her and nikki got into it at new york fashion week take a look Mm -mm. a shame and a scandal child a shame and a scandal but if y'all think that's bad listen to this other stuff that they was texting cardi the night of the fight about her baby culture one person says hey b i was texting you to tell you that your address and everything was leaked and we coming to find you and your daughter we ain't rest until we blank culture dumb b we gonna put more than a knot on your head this time then another person says elf culture ugly behind i'll run that be over She's talking about a baby now a newborn baby then another person says now nah, i gotta run culture over ho. then another person says elf little culture vulture be and offset got mm, now nah, what you finna do so then hennessy comes back and writes this in her story she says first of all this the last time i'm addressing this poop she been had my sister's number and when jason lee y'all remember i told y'all they got his blog shut down hollywood unlocked and mariah lynn addressed their issues with them both or their numbers got leaked too the only person with their number was her homegirl how come i'm addressing them and my number haven't gotten leaked because none of them have it you're not gonna keep doing elf poop behind the scenes and we supposed to stay shut up about it it's one thing to get harassed on the internet but to be giving out people personal numbers it's another thing especially because some people are sick in the head with nasty intentions grown behind women acting like teenagers so i goes on over to the jasmine brand i really like them and they posted a picture of cardi b's instagram the jasmine brand says an alleged screenshot has leaked online Showing Cardi B may have had her cell phone number attached to her account momentarily around the time Nicki Minaj fans were sending death threats to culture. Do you believe Nicki leaked her number or was the number already there? Mm -hmm. So, child, y'all know with this situation going on and Nicki Minaj supposed to be going on Queen Radio today, I boogaloo's on over to her comment section to see what she got going on down over there. And one person says, sweetie, sue herpes B and Heineken for defamation of character. These hoes keep accusing you of poop that they know you didn't do. Don't let these rats get away with it. Love you, B. 
And then Nicki Minaj responds to her, says, shake my head to God be the glory. Mm-mm, child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. Well, child, y'all know a man's for business, and I'm going to do just that. I'm not touching this one with a 10-foot pole. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about this situation down in the comments. Do y'all think Hennessy was wrong? Do y'all think Hennessy was lying when she said that Nicki Minaj leaked Cardi B's phone number? Do y'all think Ra is wrong? What y'all do y'all think everybody is wrong and everybody need to sit down somewhere and mind their own business and stay out of each other's face? Child, I don't know what they're going to do or how they're going to handle this situation. But one thing I do know is, as long as it stays messy, I'm here for it. Because y'all already know, the messier, the better. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. Moving on. Well, I'm definitely going to need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.